Hello and welcome to Stropicals. Right guys, today we're back with a video on pest nails in your aquarium. Now, these pest nails we won't be talking about guys are called Malaysian snails or also known as trumpet snails. Now we're going to be talking about why maybe you might have got them in your aquarium and how to get rid of them. And we're just going to touch on them a little bit guys. So we hope you enjoy the video and hopefully you'll learn something from us. Thank you. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And we hope you enjoy. Thank you. Right. So if you don't know what a Malaysian snail slash trumpet snail is, guys, we'll put that on screen there now for you so you can have a look at them to see if that's what you have in your aquarium. Um, so how you might have got these guys is you went to your local fish store, you bought some fish or other snails that aren't pests or you bought aquarium plants or etc like that, uh, anything for your aquarium and literally you know you put your life plants into your aquarium and these snails are after hitchhiking off these plants from your local fish store. Or you could just went and bought fish and they were in the bottom of the bag. If, if that's how you transfer your fish into your aquarium before the bag in, that's how you got them. Um, now guys, these are called pests because they produce rapidly. Now when they produce, they don't lay eggs, they're live bears. So what happens is when they produce a young, it's a live young. So it's the produce and then it's like a baby snail. It's live, there's no eggs. So they produce rapidly in your tank. Now they can be bad for your tank guys in like a way of they'll give the look of your tank a rotten look because you'll have snails all on the glass, they'll be all over your substrate, on your life plants, on your decorations, on your driftwood. It, they'll be everywhere in your tank, in your aquarium. Now it's kind of bad as well because they can get stuck in your filter. Now no one wants that because it'll damage your filter on you. So they're best to get rid of them guys. But then on the other hand, the other side of it as well, they're actually good for your aquarium. They're actually really good tank cleaners. Uh, they'll scavenge, scavenge, they're really good scavengers as well. So they'll clean up your tank. So it's kind of like a weighing scales guys. Are they actually pests or are they not pests? I leave that to you guys to decide on that. Me personally, I think they are in a way because they produce rapidly and they destroy your tank. Like I mean by destroy, there'll be a lot of them in your aquarium. But then on the other hand, they're actually good for your aquarium because they cleans your tank for you. Now, how to get rid of these? Number one is you can manual pick these out. If you have the time and the patience to do this, then you're good to go. Number two is you can siphon the substrate and you can get them all out that way. Uh, number three, you can buy assassin snails. If you buy two or three assassin snails, these snails will kill these guys. Uh, but then you're going to have to go manually in or siphon in and take out the dead ones. Um, as well, is if none of these previous recommendations or suggestions that i have given you in this video previously guys and um, what you can do is you can take out all your substrate now this is more so if it's extreme in your tank and you can't get rid of them and the previously previously suggestions that i've talked about hasn't took all of them out and they're just after getting extreme in your aquarium what you can do is just take all your substrate out of your aquarium and how you do this guys is it's just plain and simple grab yourself a fish net just a normal fish net and scoop up all your substrate whether it's sand or gravel or whatever your substrate is just scoop it all out take it out of your aquarium and all your assassin or not assassin all your trumpet snails slash Malay malaysian snails will be gone out of your aquarium now I'm going to leave it up to you guys if you think these are pest nails or not because like I said previously it's like a weighing scales with these snails guys and um, they're good for your aquarium but they can also be bad for your aquarium 
Now bad in like they can take the look off your aquarium and they can get caught in your filter and damage your filter. And good in they can benefit your tank in cleaning it up for you and scavenging at the bottom of your aquarium. Um now if you take out all your substrate from your aquarium, you're not only taking out the substrate guys, you're also gonna take out ten, maybe ten, fifteen, fifteen, twenty percent of your beneficial bacteria that's already in your aquarium on your substrate. So that's that's another thing to just kind of keep in mind if you're going for the method of taking all your substrate out. You're also gonna take out we said ten to twenty percent of your beneficial bacteria with your substrate. Trumpet snails slash Malaysian snails, they won't harm you. If you're going to pick them up manually, they won't harm you in any way and they won't harm any your fish in your aquarium. Uh so that's it anyway guys. Uh, we just touched on it a little bit for you and um, we're gonna leave a picture of these snails again there now just to show you again what they look like and to see if you have them in your aquarium now or in the future if you get these hitchhiked in in your aquarium you'll have a little bit of an understanding of these uh, if you made it all the way we really appreciate it we appreciate our subscribers so far guys these are huge support to our channel and thank you very much until next time best of luck if you like the video be sure to like if you're not already a subscriber be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and if you have these pest snails in your aquarium now or if you had them in the past please leave a comment down below uh, we would love to hear you guys um, and thank you